I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's the Giants going up against the Falcons. With that, let's send you to Atlanta now, where Brandon Godden and Charles Davis are on the call. Larry, in what is scheduled to be its final season as an NFL stadium, there's a look at the Georgia Dome here in Atlanta. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the New York Giants and the Atlanta Falcons. The children will groan. It's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The wide receivers, often a very, very talented group, and that's the case here. And they don't mind showcasing it either. Those guys love to be flashy, love to make big plays out in the open field. They will attempt to do so in this game. the 28-yard line. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. A look now at the Strider's defensively for the New York Giants. Let's start with Eli Apple out of Ohio State. And when you get picked number 10 in the draft, big things are expected out of you. I would dare say that they do expect that, but they also understand that they believe that his best football is ahead of him. Plenty of room for growth. A tremendous athlete. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So on fourth down, the Falcons will call on Matt Bosher to punt it away. Taking it about the 16. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. The New York Giants offensively, their starters, and one guy out wide to take a look at Sterling Shepard. A really mature man in every way coming out of Oklahoma. Personally and professionally, you can play him out wide, play him in the slot. He can return punts for you. He's a dynamic playmaker. And 
They'll give it to him right up the gut. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and in inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Uh-oh, Charles, now you get to talk about your old spot, the secondary, very key here in this one. Yeah, you have to cut me off because, you know, I'll talk about them all game long. Love to see those guys match up and challenge the best wide receivers. So second and ten here. Switch it up here and look to throw. Looking for his receiver sharp, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Second down following the run. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. No, 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 no. Check. Detroit! They'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Alright, here we go. Hey, three, nine, three. They go play action here on first down. He's gonna let this one go deep. He's got it at the 15. It's a big play there for Atlanta. And even 60 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Back to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Some think that teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Completed pass on second down. Now it's third down as the defense looks for the stop. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. Right. Key and tight end, key and tight end. 
They come out here in the eye. On third down, Posey. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. And Parkey's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. Yeah, as an offensive coordinator, if you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work. But in his defense, this has been a stifling defense so far. So they've got to start finding a way to unlock them as this game goes on. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Side, but nothing there. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. one back up to his 20. Now pick up of seven there, but they'll still have 12 yards to go on third down. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. On third down, he'll drop to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Roughing the pass here, but Charles, that's a good call. But these days, you know quarterbacks, they're very protective. We know how protective they are, and if it's anything borderline, they're going to get the call. But as a defender, that's hard to swallow sometimes because there's so many of these bang-bang plays. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. So there you go, holding by the offense, and that'll push him back. Changes everything now as you try and figure out what your playbook has for you. Longer yardage situations, tougher to execute and pick up first downs. All right, here we go. Blue landed! Blue landed! Back down to that Philly, here we go! Lepper! Lepper! Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, he just threw an interception last drive. Nearly another pick. And things aren't very even right now, are they? It's a little bit sloppy out there, isn't it? It's kind of different driving on those paved roads and those country roads that have those potholes in them, isn't it? Because that's the way this game's going right now. A lot of bouncity bounce to it. You spent some time on some Tennessee country roads. I certainly have. Plenty of family back there. God love it. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he powers his way up past the 30. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. 
No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Now a man who did his collegiate punting just a couple hours from here in Clemson in South Carolina, Bradley Pinion to kick. in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On play action, they'll throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from the first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. On fourth down, Coleman. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. And New York set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Giants add on to their lead. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Ten yards still left on second down. They come up in an offset eye. They'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, 
that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. They'll set up a throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They'll run it now out of the gun. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And on the ground they go with a running back. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. You know what really fires? Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Switch it up here and look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. A gain of three, second down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Crashing in from the end there, not to disrupt the pass game, but to disrupt the run game. Yeah, I love the distinction, too, because the good defensive ends, they can do it all. Set the edge in the run game, make sure that no one can move it that way, and, of course, rush the passer. On that play, use the speed to get there in the run game. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. What really hurts defenses on screen passes is that they eat up one of their levels right away. Because you know most defenses are three levels. D-line, linebacker, secondary. 
put on a screen pass. You're inviting the defensive line to get past them, and you throw the ball over their heads, and now there's just two levels left to try and stop big guys out in front of a guy running with the football. No gain on the play there. Second down. A well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Short of the sticks after that completion, and now it's third down for this offense. Rappers, rappers. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get... Crack it dome, Monday morning coffee, strong corn, everything you got into a paycheck Friday night. Your power stroke, diesel, back hole, riding king, 18 wheeler, driving, living life in between the lines of clocking in and quitting time. But then the six string circus comes to town, we 